Hey there, folks. It's Ron from Ron's Beer Reviews and Tools. I just saw a little bit earlier. And you see it now to, to your left and my right. Aeronaut Brewing Company out of some of them, Massachusetts. It's quite the name on this one here. Uh, <laughs> let's get the name around here. Uh, a Year with Dr. Nando. That's the name of it. Uh, IPA, PLL. Quite the uh, graphics on the can. And all their cans have pretty, pretty neat, different logos and graphics on them. Let me read a little bit about the brewery. Uh, it's quite uh, cool here in uh, Massachusetts today. Actually, it's been uh, dreary all day. Uh, it's been wet the last two days. Two, uh, yeah, two and a half, two and a half to three days. It's been, uh, it's been. Uh, damp and drizzling uh the sun hasn't come out and uh let's see what the temperature is right now with the magic of the cell phone uh temperature right now is 42 degrees but it feels like 39. i attested that fact i was outside for a while i had to do some stuff and um it felt kind of cool felt like 39 if not lower and, uh, all right, after that, let's get to the brew. That's the brew. Uh, let's take a look at the can. A year with Dr. N Nand Nandu. I don't know who that is. If I find out, I'll put it in the bottom of the, <laughs> the words here. Everton Brewing Company, some of them, Massachusetts, illustrated by Mr. Rolf the Third. 6.5% alcohol by volume. One pint. Uh, Let's see, it shows uh, hot air balloons uh, all over the place. S some squirrels, uh, a flying fish, it looks more like a plane, flying fish plane. Maybe Dr. Nandu was a doctor on the 20,000 leagues under the sea. Was that Dr. Nandu? Uh, I should look that up. But, anyways, here's the can. We have a, a glass. Hold these so it doesn't slip out of my hand. An old slits one. And I've been looking for it for towards a <laughs> going out away. I'm look, looking forward to having a brew. Uh, damn it on this crappy day. Water all around. Um, I rest this here. When I re rest this so you can see the can, I'm on top of um, Alexa. And the funny thing is, when uh, to my left here, this is my man cave I'm in right now. To my left is uh, my laptop computer, good size one. Here's and I something watch. I found on the web. According to JustAnswer.com, left starts fine. <laughs> There's a lecture now. Uh, when I'm talking, uh, correction, when I'm uh, on the YouTube channel, particularly, mostly, and only, actually, uh, beer, craft beer, Reviews and that's uh, Brandon and his uh, wife Trisha, Trish and um, every now and again they would yell to their uh, Alexa to play a song, and it would come on. My song would come on as I'm <laughs> right here in my room, and I'd have to shut it off, and um, they'd yell another song, and mm -hmm. uh, it'd come on. So, uh, but anyway, that's I don't know if you can see the light going on. Alexa, is the light going on? Uh, all right. Sorry, I don't know that. Oh, I was going to say, can you play the Beatles, I Want to Hold Your Hand? No, no, maybe. <laughs> all right, let's get to the beer. There's the mug. We've opened this up. Now, this is an IPA, so I don't know. If they're in the direction of um, we're back, uh, things look a little different. We lost the battery again. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm in charge of the batteries, and I just don't do my sh share, I guess, of uh, checking those batteries. But anyways, uh, here's the bro. <laughs> nice dark golden color. Plenty of combination. Looks like a nice creamy head on it. Now this is an IPA. 
and what the company, the brewery is saying that it's going to be, um, as I say, 6.3% alcohol by volume. Oh, I love the aroma on it already. Now, the question was, East Coast IPA or West Coast or in the middle? The uh, brewery is saying it's going to be a punchy pale ale with centennial, mosaic, and citra hops. Now, we know when you get your citra and your mosaic hops, you're going to get your uh, your fruity, you know, that pineapple, that a grapefruit, tropical fruit number one out of the mosaic. And centennial gives you a, a nice flavor of... Uh, not so much uh, hoppiness, but you know the hops are there, the floralness. All right, no further ado. I am picking up on that citrus, that tropical fruit. I should with the mosaic. A sweetness. All right, bottoms up. Oh, that is good. A little astringency, a little bit of bitterness. Not as astringent as the West Coast, but some uh, bitterness. Nice flavor. Pineapple. Uh, the bitterness comes right after the sweetness. So it's the malt hits hit you that sweetness and then the, the hoppiness. And if I guess in a way they say punchy, punchy pale ale with the hot centennial mosaic. Citra hops, but I am getting uh, the, definitely the fruitiness. <clears throat> the color reminds me of a lager that uh, how do we just say dark gold or somewhat going towards bronze color? My job of a lager. The flavor, I like um, getting the aromas. When you know your hops, like I grow hop, hop, I grow Cascade and Fargo hops, and uh, kind of delved into the hops. They've uh, really added to all these brews, and it makes it exciting. All these brews and the hops that they're coming out with, all those fantastic hops from the uh, West Coast, Pacific Northwest Coast, actually. Mm. It is flavorful. It's very drinkable. It's not, um, it is a, um, an East Coast somewhat, actually more of the middle of the road IPA. It's not a West Coast, it's not as astringent, it's not as hoppy, and it doesn't really overflow with the floral and the kind of sweetness that comes with the fruitiness from the citra and the mosaic hops. I think the centennial has really balanced the, the hops in this here. I get this again. This is a, a pleasurable brew. A year with Doctor. I guess that's, they say, the guy from the Doctor, remember? The, the movie, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. I think his name was Doctor Nando. Nando. Um, to that extent, but um, Aronach Brewery over there in uh, Somerville, Massachusetts. Somerville is, touches the northern part of Boston, which is the uh, Charlestown section of Boston. Somerville touches the Charlestown section of Boston, so it touches Boston. It's on the northern part of Boston. So I won't run this long. I uh, just wanted to do kind of a a quick impromptu. <coughs> Beer view. I did feel like having a brew. <coughs> nice combination. The mouth feel. Let's see. Strong but medium mouthfeel. All right, folks. That said, enjoy the day. 
It's raining, like I say. It's been drizzling here for the last close to three days. The sun hasn't been out. And uh, that feels like 39 degrees. And it's only fall. Plenty of raking to do with the leaves. So um, if you're going to drink, drink responsibly. Don't drive. Remember the virus is still around. Uh, watch out for your senior citizens and your family and your friends and your neighborhood. So, ciao.